In the solvent, you considered various ideas of what it means to take up space on a flat surface. The perimeter, P, of a polygon is the sum of the lengths of its sides. The area, A, of a polygon is the number of square units it encloses. For figures such as squares, rectangles, triangles, and circles, you can use formulas for perimeter, or circumference C in the case of circles, and area. Take note, key concept, perimeter, circumference, and area. First, a square. We can see a square shown here with four right angles, four congruent sides, and a side length labeled S. The perimeter P of a square is simply 4s, or 4 times the side length. The area of a square is s squared, or the side length squared. Next, a triangle. We can see a triangle shown here at the right with side lengths a, b, and c, base b, and height h. The perimeter of a triangle, such as this, is a plus b plus c. That's the sum of the three side lengths. The area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. Next, a rectangle with base B and height H, as shown here. The perimeter of a rectangle is two times the length of the base B plus two times the length of the height H, or it can be written as two times the quantity B plus H. The area, on the other hand, is the product b times h. And finally a circle. Here we have a circle with radius r and diameter d. Its circumference is pi times d or that can be written as 2 times pi times the radius. Recall this is because the diameter equals 2 times the radius. The area of a circle is pi times the radius length squared. The units of measurement for perimeter and circumference include inches, feet, yards, miles, centimeters, and meters. When measuring area, use square units, such as square inches, denoted inches squared, square feet, denoted feet squared, square yards, denoted yards squared, square miles, denoted miles squared, square centimeters, denoted centimeters squared, and square meters denoted meters squared. Problem 1. Finding the perimeter of a rectangle. Landscaping. The Botany Club members are designing a rectangular garden for the courtyard of your school. They plan to place edging on the outside of the path. How much edging material will they need? Let's consider the image. It looks like we have a garden with a length of 22 feet and a width of 16 feet. And then the border, or edging material, would need to be a total of four feet wide. Step one, we'll find the dimensions of the garden, including the path. For a rectangle, length and width are sometimes used in place of its base and height. The width of the garden path in this case is four plus 16 plus another four, and that's 24. The length of the garden path is four, plus 22, plus 4, and that's 30. Step 2, we'll find the perimeter of the garden, including the path. The perimeter is 2 times b plus 2 times h. Recall that's the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. For us, in this case, that's 2 times 24 plus 2 times 30, which is 48 plus 60, or 108. So we will need 108 feet of edging material. Your turn, part A. You want to frame a picture that is 5 inches by 7 inches with a 1 inch wide frame. What is the perimeter of the picture? Part B. You want to frame a picture that is 5 by 7 with a 1 inch wide frame. What's the perimeter of the outside edge of the frame? 